so in this particular example right here we'll see of course how to use the handler to post progress into the user interface thread from a background thread now we're going to associate our handler okay which is just a class defined in our android OS package that normally allows us to send and also process our message and runnable objects we're going to associate it with the background thread then it's going to send or post the progress updates from that particular background thread of course to the user interface thread so if i click this start button you guys can see of course we're updating our user interface okay so we're doing this one from a background thread we're using the bug handler to post those particular updates so this is what we're going to see right here okay this of course is in the portrait mode let's also look at it in the landscape mode so here's the project of course in the landscape mode if i click start you can see we are able to update our progress bar so this is what we're going to see this is a hundred tutorial guys let's get started our first step as usual is to go ahead and create our project so type the application name then of course choose the company domain then of course your project location then click next now we have of course our form factors as well as the minimum sdk will go with the api level 15 then click next we have some templates we're going to choose the empty activity that active that template will generate for us one class i mean activity as well as the activity main dot xml now once we have that one if we come to our build dot cradle we're not really using any special dependencies okay so whatever rules does generated for us we leave it that way then we proceed over to right here our layouts in fact before we go there let's come to our values so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to modify my colors so colors accent will be this one my color primary will be this one and then the color dark will be this one okay so that is it and then this of course is my style then i come to my activity main dot xml right here within this of course is our layout for our main activity in this layout of course as you can see i'm having the linear layout as my root element of course its orientation we're going to have it as vertical then you can see we're having a text view which will be the header label now below it will have a progress bar this is the one onto which our progress will get rendered okay once it's been um once it's been passed to us of course from our background thread then we have the button right here which will indicate for us the start so this is our layout let's move over to our java code okay so first and foremost we are going to have right here our class as you can see it's extending the app compact activity okay so the first thing is to maintain several instance fields first our handler object and then a progress bar right here as well as a button which we call the start button so once we have this one right here so you can actually see the documentation right here for a handler before we proceed you can see is basically a class that is extending the object is actually defined in the android.os package and you can see it, it basically allows us to send and process message and runnable objects that are associated with the threads message queue so normally once you've instantiated your handler its instance has to be associated with either a single thread or the threads message queue okay and then whenever you create your handler then the handler will get bound to that particular thread or its message queue so like in this particular case we'll instantiate or create our handler and then hold it inside this particular m handler right here and then we're going to associate it with a single thread okay so that thread is what we'll use of course to do our background work and then we'll have this particular progress bar which of course will be contained in our main thread then of course the progress will be sent from our main sorry our background thread to the main thread so that can be rendered or displayed in our progress bar so these are our instance fields we come right here and then first we're going to create this method which will simulate doing stuff in our background thread okay that thread is what will be associated of course with the handler instance now we come here we create the method perform stuff 
so perform stuff we're going to instantiate a new thread and then inside the thread constructor we're going to instantiate a runnable okay uh, as an anonymous class and then in our runnable of course this will force us to override the run method now it is inside this run method where we actually do our stuff in the background thread so in our case we're going to count from 0 to 30 and then as we count right here first we're going to assign the current progress right here to this i to our current progress count okay then of course we'll have this try catch block where we're going to catch interrupted exception while trying of course to uh, slip our thread okay so to suspend our thread for 500 milliseconds that is half a second so that's will simulate for us doing some stuff of course in the background then of course we're going to post our updates to the user interface using handler so we've associated a handler with the thread and then we're going to use the handler to post updates to our user interface using the post method so we come handler.post and then we pass in our runnable right here and then of course we override the run method so we'll use this particular handler instance to post the updates of course to the user interface and basically progress dot set progress then we pass in the current progress count now of course this was a thread right here so we start it by invoking the start method okay and that alone will simulate for us doing our heavy work in the background thread then we come override our on create method so on create method right here this is how we're going to inflate our activity main and then use it as our main activities route so right here first we're going to instantiate the handler okay then of course come reference our progress bar reference our start button and then listen to the click events for the start button now when that button is clicked what are we going to do well of course we're going to perform our stuff by invoking the perform stuff method and that's it so this is it guys all we now need to do is to run the project or we can alternatively build the apk and then of course drag the apk to your device or to your emulator that's it you'll find the source code in our website camposha.info like this video share it and make sure you guys subscribe to our channel okay programming users tv take care i'll catch you in the next class